Hey guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. I wanted to show you something I got. Um, it's not really a yard sale find or a flea market find, but kinda. This has been at the shop where I work for, I don't know, over a year and a half now. And the owner, which is my boss, I asked him what he wanted for it today, and he said, you can have it. It is a husky. Yeah, it's a husky. So I'm thinking that's what, tractor supply? I'm believing, I'm not sure what year or anything like that. Uh, yeah, that says TSC Industries Incorporated. I believe that to be tractor supply. I don't know anything about it. Don't know if it works, but let's plug it in and check it out, guys. All right, I'm going to put you in the stand here. Now, hopefully tomorrow I will have an unboxing for you of something else that I have ordered that's supposed to be in tomorrow. So, let's get you down here. All right, there's that. Whoops. Now, let's get, get it plugged in and see if it works. All right, got a cord here. Let's plug her in. Well, it's running and pumping. It is very quiet, which is cool. But I'm either thinking about, let's let it run for a minute, see what, if it builds up pressure. I don't know what that knocking noise is. It could be. Could be a rod in that I'm not sure but if it runs all right either that or that is going to get my two horsepower Briggs and Stratton but first I gotta figure out what this knock is but it seems to be building up pressure uh, you probably can't see that to about 24, 25 PSI. It is a 100 PSI air compressor. So, I'm gonna pause you guys for a second. This mic is bothering me. Uh, I'm gonna pause you guys for a second. And I hear an air leak somewhere. Right here on the bottom. There's an air leak right here on the bottom. But it is pumping air. So I may have to weld that if I decide to use it. But I'm going to pause you guys for a second. And I'm going to let it run. Maybe check the oil. And see where it goes from here. So I'll be right back with you. Hang on. Okay guys, we're back. We're up to about 95 pounds of pressure. So fix it. So it should be shutting off here in a minute, providing the pressure switch works. It's been about uh, four minutes, but that is a very quiet running air compressor. Of course, I'm going to have to put a new, a new cord on it. It's been taped up and chewed up. Um, there's the regulator. The regulator's sitting on about 90 right now. Pushing about 98 pounds of about 98 pound tank pressure. It does have a a um, valve on the bottom to where you can drain the water out, but a lot of people don't do that. And of course it's air, you get water and it's condensation and if you don't drain it out every so often then it sets for years. Um, this thing's been setting for 10 years I think he said. But it's been at our shop of course, oops sorry. Um, for about almost two years. But um, you know, you want, of course you got air, you got water, you're gonna have rust, rust from the inside out which I have welded them before, and I'll probably just weld it. It's like a pinhole, but 
sitting right at about a hundred pounds now, so hopefully it'll shut off like it should. Sorry this thing don't focus, but a little hint. That's what I'm waiting on tomorrow to come in. There's the little filter. On about 102 now. The regulator's still on about 90. But it's 100 PSI, so they could have it turned up a little bit maybe, but of course it might not be shutting off because of that leak, but you would think it built up to 100 pounds, it should shut off on the switch. Kind of holding steady at 100. So that might be why it's not shutting off. At 100, 102. But it is very, very quiet, so I like that. That's cool. Probably what it is, it's not building up enough pressure with that leak to shut it off to kill it. But of course that's no biggie. I can weld that thing at work with no that tank at work with no problem. So I'm just gonna go ahead and unplug it right now. Turn it up here. Hopefully it'll stay. The leak is right there. A little pinhole right there. So, no biggie. No leak there, but. Anyway, guys, there's my little, another little toy to play with, fix up, whatnot. So, we're going to behave. All right, guys, so I'm going to sign off for now. Just wanted to share that with you. And uh, keep an eye out for more videos. Saturday night, I don't know if you'll see it Saturday, but you'll probably see it Sunday. I've got another little surprise, a little challenge I've been seeing on YouTube thought I'd try it so I ordered what I needed offline online whatever you want to call it and got it so I'm gonna do that Saturday night for you all right guys so that being said remember check out monkey 1000 check her channel out she's got some great um, craft videos and stuff like that so it's pretty cool not crap but craft <laughs> she likes to do some craft stuff for around the house and things so uh, very entertaining very interesting so check her out and as always guys thanks for watching i'll see you soon and uh remember shea bear the myth the man the legend i'm gone for now bye bye guys take care